Hi everyone, welcome to Rays of Hope, Rainbow Light, Love and Healing Tarot, and welcome Aquarius. How are you to your love reading for this week? And know that if you've just arrived, uh, we are new here on the circuit, I'm building my channel, so hopefully you'll stay for the reading and subscribe, share, comment, and like. And those of you who have returned, thank you so much. You're awesome for helping me build my channel, yes. So Aquarius, let's begin this reading and know that this week's focus after meditating is about love's potential the potential of love and know that no matter what happens um, as long as we're learning something new and we see something that um, is definitely beneficial to us there's potential for anything right and so this is about potential of love it's going to be about many different relationships that's been coming up it, it, it definitely is it's not just about one but it's about different stages it's about different things happening what do they mean and and know that the card I pulled after the focus came was the second chakra, which is all about how it correlates to our feelings, our sexuality, our sensuality, our relational cords with others, our passion, right? And so know that when we have, uh, you know, relationship issues or we have pain or trauma or anything uncomfortable, any thoughts or feelings be is our energy. Everything is an energy. So that collects in our second chakra. And that vibration, if it's not processed or understood or learned from, it becomes heavy, uncomfortable, and after a while it can definitely really cause a lot of pain. So these are the things that we uh, will learn how to clear. I'm going to teach you how to clear that so that you can raise the vibration of that chakra and then let more beautiful energy come in for your next uh, manifestation of relationship and also the relationship with yourself and your outer world, okay? Because it's all about raising our vibration. And at the same time, when we raise our vibration, we have a double mission here. We raise the vibration of the planet. So it's all about our spiritual evolution, people. Love is about spirit, okay? So let's continue here with the reading. And let's start with um, fanning ourselves because it's hot here. <laughs> and let's ring the bell. Clear the energy because there's a lot going on here today. Um, so let's begin. So again, this could be with many different types of relationships, okay? It's not just... Um, one, whether you're in a relationship or not, where are you? Um, where are you growing? What are you doing? Are you understanding what's going on in your second chakra there? Very important chakra. So it was perfect that it came up when I pulled a card on the activation. Relationship activation. So here we go. What's going on in... Whoops. It almost burned. Oh my God, could you imagine? In Aquarius... <laughs> Oh my God, that could have happened. Here we go. A love strike. I have been swept off my feet, run down, unexpected and amazing. Love strike for some of you Aquarians. How nice. So what are you learning from this love strike? Let's see how it falls out and let's see how many other kinds of relationships are here in the potential of love for Aquarius. Revealing. I'm ready to express what's been on my mind. That's in the heart. Hot. <laughs> it's amazing. Okay, let's keep going. Let's, let's stop. I'm shattered. I'm feeling broken. Can't stop these swing, these, these um, moving thoughts. Hmm, interesting. They're racing thoughts. I'm shattered. I'm feeling broken. So some of you um, might be feeling broken okay from a, a relationship some of you are revealing what's in your heart and some of you are love stricken so let's see how this all works and you know what it also could be that um, sometimes when you get love struck you are shattered right so perhaps there's some racing thoughts about oh my god what is this is this real what's gonna happen I don't know I better feel, um, you know, I'm ready to express what's on my mind because your heart and your mind work together, right? So let's see where the phases of love here are in this relationship. Is something really, really on the edge here, right? Of, of breaking open and it's a good thing because there's love potential here and growth, mostly growth, right? Because that's what relationship is all about. Um, this teaches us to grow and the more love that we want to be is the more love we'll bring in our life. So clearing your field, clearing your second chakra is an amazing process um, that will definitely keep you uh, growing and open for new love, higher vibrations, as long as you keep the intent, okay, of that's what you want. So here we go. The fate of 
phase. A new love is entering your life whom you may have a child with or work on a new project together. So this birthing of some type here going on in this love stricken relationship. It has stricken open a process, right? Love strike. Who knows? Let's keep going. So that's a potential growth right there. And then we have here, um, you could be dating someone that will be very dominant. It's up to you if this is the kind of relationship you want. So perhaps um, some of you are, are in a relationship with someone who is dominant and you're definitely in the heart and your mind you're revealing you know whatever it is because look she's very in a very defensive um, you know position right she's like hey I want to tell you what's on my mind you know maybe you're being a little too controlling domineering okay so that could be another type of relationship and let's see what the shattered relationship is all about I mean I'm, I'm just surprised to see I would be surprised to see something that would match that <laughs> it says it's complicated. Many external factors are complicating this relationship, making it difficult to make things take things to the next level. So you could be shattered. So there's three different types of relationships here. Absolutely. And each one of them, you're learning love's potential. Where is it in you that you can get through this with love um, when something is just not going right, when something is just too complicated and something is just too controlling, right? So you're learning. And that is the potential that you have always. And here, there's real growth here. There's definite growth here on love stricken, you know, and definitely growing. So there's potential in all of these relationships because it's about learning and growing. <laughs> let's see now. Whoops, let's see. Okay, there we go. Now, what we're going to do is going to bring in some romantic truths. Well, first of all, let me teach you how to clear the clouds. So if you're shattered, if you have extra energy left over from, you know, low vibration energy from a previous life or a previous relationship in your second chakra, which is right below the belly button, it's in the hara. You know, the hara is the, um, the martial arts position, the focus that one needs when whew, we're in focus. There's nothing else on our mind but this focus. So we meditate on the color orange, because that's the color of the second chakra. And when we breathe in, in our meditative breathing, we breathe in the color orange. And then we become orange. And when we have our hands there during this meditation of breathing and breathing in the color, we take our energetic fingers, which is extension of your fingertips. It's, there's energy there. You know, you can, I could teach you all these things, but let's just go here. So place your hands on the tantien, which is an inch and a half two inches below your belly button and as you turn orange and breathe in orange you take your energetic fingers and you scoop out what you're surrendering what you're letting go of what you're forgiving and you put it up into the light and you keep doing that until you feel you've you know you've taken care of that particular energetic um, feeling that you needed to let go of and then you take golden pink light and you hold on to your tantian that same area and you breathe in golden pink light, right? You, you turn golden pink, and that's unconditional love, where it heals it, and it raises the vibration of this chakra so that you can move on in the next level. And you'll do this more than once until it, you feel very balanced there, okay? Until you, Because you'll be cleared, and, and now you can move forward into a new relationship without having this excess lower vibration for someone else to take care of. So now let's see what's in the romantic truth because romantic truths are very interesting because they kind of go um, let us know about the past, about the moment, you know, and uh, it's things that we could be forgetting about or being alert to. Very interesting. This is the first one that's definitely three different types. Let's see how this is going to work. <laughs> I'm game. I'm open. Oh, this is the third time. This there's loss here, definite loss or grief here um, for some that have gone through a past. And so that's why things become complicated, this becomes shattered because you're triggered constantly with a relationship that's bringing up loss and grief. And so this is a great exercise for all of you who are feeling that in a complicated relationship to really, really um, do this exercise. So let's see what else is coming up here. Honesty. So this is definitely for someone who's being honest about how they feel this other person is domineering them. You know, like, I'm honest with you. I'm going to tell you, Bixby, be quiet. I'm going to tell you that 
this is how I feel, and I'm revealing about my mind that you are too controlling. You are too controlling. So this is a good, um, a good uh, prospect, um, a great potential, because you're learning to think about how you feel. All right, it's not always about someone else. How do you feel in this relationship? Being nice to someone all the time does not make a relationship perfect, okay? Because then you are kind of not acting, you're acting out. You're not coming from your truth, your feelings. You know, we get conditioned that way growing up. So let's see, what else is going on? Oh, this one is growing together. <laughs> I love it. You're love struck. You're thinking about a future, maybe children growing together, be having partnership of a business together or something, birthing together, and you're growing together. Wow, Aquarius, there's definitely three different types of relationships here. But um, again, even if you're having a good relationship, um, just keep checking in with your second chakra to make sure that you're expressing yourself and that you are in your truth in a relationship, okay? Not acting out, all right? Because that's going to get you into complicated issues and you're going to have losses and there won't be any honesty, okay? So let's see, what is the tarot going to tell us here about this um, that's going on here in the prospect of love? This is very, very interesting. This is another good one. I've had like, this is about, this is a very close um, call with another one that was really good. Uh, everyone else is very complicated, but still, there's still, it doesn't matter if things aren't working out. As long as you're learning from it, that is the potential. You have potential to have love in your life as long as you're learning from um, everything because nothing is a mistake. Nothing. All right, so Aquarius, let's see what's going on in your moment. You're always, you're in the astral because the astral is the heart and the, and the second level is also our feelings. So the two, four, and six are the astral because that's where this is, these first three layers. So now we're gonna be right into the physical. Where are we in this moment of challenge and emotion and mental um, bodies? And also, you know, where are we in the heart, the outcome? and what are we surrendering or surrendering to? So let's see. Let's keep going here. And you are my last reading. <laughs> you used to be first at one time. So now here we go. Where are you um, in this uh, physical? You want stability. You want growth, definitely. You want to build something that's solid, that's really, really passionately and, and this is, can also be people who are partners, you know, in life right now who want to build a new foundation, who want to build something stronger, who want to build maybe even a business together, something. But this is a beautiful place um, for everyone here, no matter what. This is your desire, your longing. That's where you are. And that's why you're thinking about things that don't work right. What's on your mind? Tell what's on your mind. Is someone being too forceful, too manipulative? Say what your piece is. Because... You want more togetherness, you know, you don't want control. And if things are complicated and you feel shattered, well, tend to the loss and the grief that's happened in your past, all right? So this is great information, and this is what starts this, because you want something new and different, something strong. So let's see what the challenge is. Concrete understanding. So challenges are, this is kind of like a concrete ideas, okay? The challenges is, the challenges is <laughs> the challenges here with the Prince of Coins is about also the currency within yourself. You know, you have concrete ideas about love, about life, and so the challenge is, do I know everything? Am I gonna know everything? Is there anything more I have to learn? Well, the challenge is to say yes. Everything is within me. Everything that I feel helps me take the next step. Okay, so that's your challenge: is to know your self worth. That's what this signifies here in this challenge, in this reading. What is your self-worth? Have confidence. Have more confidence in yourself. Okay, so here we go. In the emotional body, ah, we have the five of staves. So there's inner conflict sometimes with the ego. All right, this is this looks like it's it's not really with someone specific. It looks like this more of an inner conflict with yourself, knowing exactly what you feel is right or doubting yourself. It's your ego fighting with you. Your ego never wants you to change anything. You know, your ego wants to control you. <laughs> and the ego is good. It takes us to where we have to go. It's a vehicle, like when you take an Uber, you go, okay, thank you so much, thank you for the trip, because the ego gets you to a place, gets you to a goal, but now you let go of the ego, 
and, and say thank you, okay, I got here, but now you're not gonna control me. I'm making decisions on my own because I'm confident. I don't have this inner conflict of which direction to go in. So you have to be you know, very, very confident and, and sure about your feelings and what is it that you desire. So let's see what's in the mental body. The Prince of Arrows, you have a lot of questions. Yes, questions. Definitely unanswered um, questions and information that you need to go the next step. So take your time. This has been coming up at least two or three times in the reading so far for many, uh, and it, loss and grief as well. So take your time because you need to grow. Um, and, and when you ask questions, you have the potential to learn and more potential to have more happiness and love in your life, okay? So the potential is here. Just have to know that you have to recognize the lesson. That's the most important thing. And in the heart, there's balance. Yeah, we have balance. So the more balance you can have, the less control, or you have more managing, uh, you're managing your love life, you're managing your relationship when you have balance, because it's there's give and take in a, in a relationship. So in your heart, you want balance. And so the only way to be that is to be honest because that's exactly where it is right in the heart honesty is what's in your heart what is it that you want to reveal because here it's right with this too it's amazing how these cards fall together you're revealing your honesty you want make sure you have balance that there's no one dominating you and no one is going to control you because the word control is a terrible word i don't like that word i like the word manage manage right we don't control people we manage energy you know, we're flexible, we manage, we don't. <laughs> Sometimes we do want to do that, right? Anyway, don't do that. Okay, so let's see. In our, um, what is it that we want to surrender or surrender to? <gasps> the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, so we're going to surrender to the next phase. The next, as the wheel turns, we're going to take that step and go in the direction where we are now managing our heart, our desire. No one's controlling us. We are definitely confident here in this love-stricken new growth, okay? We are going to know that our time has come where the wheel is going to turn in our favor. Be positive because nothing is lost, you know? Even if you don't know all the answers right now and you're searching for them and you're, you're constantly like, you know, out of your mind, things will change. Stay in the center, stay in the center because the wheel of fortune is the challenge, is things are gonna be moving, things are gonna be changing. Stay in the center so you're not thrown about. Because the wheel of fortune, if things haven't been going so well, they're going to get better. Oh, and what is the, the prize of this whole thing? The outcome is the 10 of cups. So follow your destiny, follow your heart, follow your feelings, clear the clouds in your life. Don't let anything linger that's from a past life or past relationship. Fill yourself with unconditional love there and do that cloud clearing that I told you about. And it's also about mucus, it's sticky, sticky energy. It's all energy, you know? It's just unresolved, okay? Distorted, you know, low vibration, pain, whatever it is that loss, clear it, okay? And you will definitely find that your focus and uh, will change, you'll have great um, potentials in your life because you're growing, and the Ten of Cups is the answer from all this work. It's work, but you're recognizing it, and all of you who have this separate, um, this is the first one that was so separate, um, but it shows that love is the answer, is the prize, okay? And what seeded this? The Princess of Coins. She was definitely someone who was thinking the Princess of Coins is also another, um, someone who's thinking about themselves, how they're gonna grow, what is it they can do. This is about planting another, uh, about looking at another uh, self-worth, okay? This is about having self-worth because the coin is, is a currency and we are currency and vibration, right? So the Princess of Coins is, is about someone who knows they have self-worth and that they want this. So let's see the Ten of Cups, of course, right? So let's see, um, what is the final message for you, Aquarius, for this reading of being in a place of really, really managing your potential of love. You know, you, you, you know what you want, and that's good. You're willing to put it out there, let someone know. You know, it's complicated, don't control me. Oh, I wanna grow with you, but I just have to make sure that I'm confident. 
Um, and I want to build this, definitely. So let's see, what is the final message for all three? <laughs> I'm sure it's going to be interesting. What is the final message for our Aquarius? Love makes the difference. Love helps heal past hurts and provides a sense of security and self-worth. There you go, Aquarius. Have a wonderful weekend. I hope you enjoyed your reading. It was very challenging, but I know you're going to make it. So take care now. Bye-bye.